What's up YouTube friends? Now today is a beautiful 65 degree day here in Nebraska. So I decided it's time to plant my onions. Over here I have garlic and it's just starting to come up so that's the perfect time. This year I'll be doing some white onions. I got these at Walmart. And also some yellow onions. Now I also got some purple asparagus and that's just to fill up the rest of my asparagus bed. So the first thing that I'm going to plant are the yellow onions. Now I do use a square foot gardening method, however I do not use the Mel's mix or whatever that is. I just use the spacing. So for each foot by foot square I can plant nine onions. I'm going to do two four foot rows of the yellow and two four foot of the white. Now this stick happens to be two foot wide, so I'm going to go about a foot in and make a line and a foot across from my garlic and make a line. So now I'm just going to start with these four squares first and I know I can put nine per square. Now to plant these bulbs all you want to do is make sure that the root is down. And I like to bury it just to the tip of the onion here. So then I just take my little onion bulbs and I just stick them in the ground. Now you could go ahead and measure these out if you want to, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Now before I turned on the camera, I did take a pitchfork and turned all of this but I was careful not to disturb my garlic. Now once in a while you'll find a rotten one in the pack. I have a hundred here. I think I'm going to plant about 72. So I'm just going to toss it. All right, now that I have these four squares all planted, I'm just going to take my hand, make sure they're nice and covered up. And then I just like to give it a little press down. Now normally I would go ahead and give these a good drink of water. But it's supposed to rain either Friday or Saturday here, so I think they'll be good till then. So now I'm just going to do the exact same thing with my white onions over here. Alright guys, so I have my yellow and my white onions all planted here. And this spot right here is for leeks and green onions. So now I'm just going to turn around here and show you how I plant my asparagus. Alright guys, so this is my asparagus bed that I started last year and I had a hard time getting my asparagus to sprout. I replanted these three different times before I got anything to grow. Now the kind I have in here I believe are the Martha Washingtons and I have five different plants. I have one in each of the corner and one in the middle. After doing a little more research, I realized that I could put more asparagus in here. So therefore, I went ahead and I bought some of this purple passion asparagus. So I'm going to go ahead and put one here, over there, one there, and one there. Now this tells you to dig an 8 inch hole and make a little trench and bury it. Every time I did that, I could not get them to grow. So what I do is just dig about a four inch hole and you want a little mound of dirt in the middle and then take one of your asparagus crowns. This is what they look like, kind of like an octopus. And you just want to spread out the roots around that mound. And then just cover it up. So I probably have about two inches of dirt covering these crowns and for me that's how I got them to grow. Now these purple passions do turn green once you cook them but I just think it'll add a little bit of color here in the spring in my asparagus bed. And you also don't want to pick your asparagus for two to three years. You just want to let them grow, die, grow and die and on the third year you can start picking them. 
Now they do take a while to get going, but I think it's well worth the wait. They're basically maintenance free once they get going. So I'm going to finish up the rest of these and I'll bring you back to end this video. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that quick video on how I planted my garlic and my asparagus for my 2018 garden. Now it's beautiful days like this that makes me really excited for spring, but here in Nebraska I know it could be snowing by next week. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, go down below and hit the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. If you'd like to be notified as to when I post one of my videos, hit the bell button. If you have a question about this video or any of my other videos, or would like to just leave a suggestion for a future upcoming video, leave me a comment. Feel free to share this video across your social medias. If you'd like to share garden ideas or craft ideas, head on over to Facebook for Scrappy's Patch and hit that friend button. And as always, thanks for watching, happy gardening, and I'll see you next time.